Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, ah, Hare Hare. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the program. Welcome, Buffy. Welcome, Buffy. If you can't see me, that's because we're talking about a lot of Buffy. Buffy is here. Buffy is the vampire. Buffy is the... Uh, I'll tell you what happens when you talk about something that is sensitive. Like children being medically misinformed here on YouTube. You get Buffied out. You see how it's Buffy? You see what I see, right? It's excellent connection. And then watch what happens. Watch, 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 watch. watch. This is investigative journalism right here. Ah, la, 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 la. You see the spinning arrow? It doesn't even know we're here yet. And, the, and we're streaming live. Oh, but in the recording, see, we capture it all on recording, right? Everything is recorded today. So, but we're going to still do the program if you want to watch the uh, rerun with, uh, without the buffing, without the uh, deliberate attempts to stop this communication. Then you can do that. Yes. And uh, good morning, everybody. My name is Marcus Conti. It's not that it's not that the subject is so sensitive. It's just it's that uh, children. It does look like we have to we do have to protect children. I think we all agree on that. Uh, you have to protect kids. You have to if if a, a child is a small, brand new human, right, and is vulnerable in many ways to uh, to to life, and uh, as an adult, as active living, breathing adults, we're required to some degree to take care of children, to, to make sure uh, that, uh, that uh, they are not um, uh, being abused, being bullied, uh, being medically mistreated and such. Right? So we're going to look at those. Uh, is, uh, it's probably, you know, it's probably it's what we're going to talk about. I'm reading the, reading the, uh, I'm reading the, um, uh, the comments. Good morning, everybody. Weevil Girl and Al's Born Annoying is back. Uh, Champs is here. Jim Gerard. Weevil Girl. Weevil Girl's here. Zoot Suit Cooter. Uh, Vinny D. Martini is having a sick day today. Vinny's not feeling well. Uh, and everybody else is lurking. William R. Hall, the the uh, the great the great uh, artist from Syracuse, New York. I got your photos. I'm going to show them. Uh, uh, William was up there at the uh, the great eclipse, the great uh, 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 path of totality in Syracuse, New York. While where, where the, the the college kids were going wild on Syracuse University, going wild in the eclipse. They were laying out there. They were drinking and smoking and. And, 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 and so probably other stuff too. All right, so we'll look at that. And uh, I'm very curious in the path of totality. Does it have a lasting effect? It looks like it does. It looks like it does. There's some crazy videos now coming out about a week later. Uh, whenever people see the eclipse, they always say, "My God." They call people call God. Uh, they call God when um. Uh, they call God when they saw the eclipse. I'm going to try to refresh this. And uh, if I lose you for a second, sorry. Uh, stream is still going. Stream is still going. Excellent connection. Excellent, but no data. Let's see. We're getting screwed. Uh, welcome. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, YouTube, for your, for, your, uh, for your help today. Thank you in getting this message out. 
So that was my thumbnail today. The raising the transgender child, raising the transgender child. It's not a problem, right? We that's we know that the child is transgender because we told the child that they are transgender. Uh, they think they are, but what the fuck does a kid know? You have to tell them what they are, right? That's what we do with kids. We teach kids to to uh, to understand the world around them, and and there's parents out there in the world today that are telling them that, um, for example, uh, a, a young girl uh, or a young boy uh, telling a young boy that you're actually a girl right? or telling a young girl you're actually a boy and, and those breasts uh, that you have are unnecessary and uh, we're going to send you to the hospital and have them removed. Right? That's what we're going to do for you. So we're going to explore explore a lot of this. Uh, some people say it's uh, it, it's hate uh, hate directed at uh, children. <laughs> how how ridiculous! The opposite is true. It's it's trying to diffuse the hate pointed at children. Let kids make up their own fucking mind. Let kids have a childhood for Christ's sake, and let them get to at least out of high school. Before they start cutting off their fucking organs, God damn it! So um, you can do whatever you want once you're uh, once you're once you're there. I know buff- buffing is going to be a problem here. I see, I see it. I, I see it happening. I see it happening. It's uh, it's uh, you know, it's trying to make me look bad. That's what it is, essentially. Essentially, it's trying to make us look bad. Look, only three people watching. Yeah, it's bullshit. Everything is frozen. We're frozen in time. We're frozen in time for for YouTube Live, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna continue on anyway because uh, it's a very important subject, and uh, and uh, that's just why we're doing it, right? It's not really. I mean, it, it, it's not a burning. It, it's really not a burning fucking topic for me. I just thought about it, and I and I realized, you know, kids are are, are to to a large degree. Um, uh, vulnerable and bullied, not by the people that we think they are, but the medical profession itself. And, so, and, and, and many of times the parents are leading that charge. My name is Marcus Conte. I have a website every morning at 9 a.m. <clears throat> right here uh, in the uh, Eastern Time in the United States of America, uh, where we used to have free speech and freedom of the press, uh, where we don't have that anymore. We have to fight for it. And we have to uh, fall in line with the agreed upon narratives right? or else or else you little scumbag, you will be removed by this powerful, powerful fucking entity called uh, uh, Google. Uh, everything I do is uh, uh, everything I do is 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 backed up. Everything I say is is is. Uh, is watchable across many other platforms other than YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, BitChute, Facebook, Twitter, Getter, Truth Social, and wherever else you're watching, um, wherever else you're consuming social media. So we'll try to get through this. Uh, so here's a follow-up story. Alleged New York City subway cellist attacked. You remember, you remember the cellist guy, the, the uh, dude? He was in the subway in New York City, uh, I think 34th Street, Herald Square, and some, some racist wacko fucking lady uh picks up his own his water bottle the cellist's water bottle and bangs him off the back of the head with it remember remember watch 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 here we go here she comes i'm tired of this shit bang motherfucking racist bitch he's an asian dude right i (laughs) said fucking horrible man right guys guys in the groove guys in the zone and he gets he gets his lights knocked out right on the back of the Right on the back of his cerebral lobe. All right. So you remember this? You remember this attack? This horrible racist attack. Right. So a woman accused of attacking a subway cellist with a bottle tried to plead guilty Wednesday, only to be talked out of it. Uh, so, so the point of this is there she is. Right there she is. And uh, why, why isn't this a racial attack? What other motivation did she have? She I just don't like this. Pe- I don't like anybody, man. Why did she do it? Why did, why did this woman attack the fucking guy in the subway, right, playing the cello? There's two, re- two possible reasons or <coughs> a combination of the two. 
One is that she's a deeply racist uh, 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 black person trapped in poverty, acting out in the in the inner city, uh, uh, or she's mentally ill, right, and and is strung out on something, or both, right? Because they're they're interchangeable today, right? You know what what is do we blame all violence on poverty? Is 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 all racism or, uh, stemming from poverty? Is uh, are, are all these these um, uh, uh, things that happen in the world connected? <laughs> all these ailments, right? Because you're looking at the when I look at this person, she's smiling, she's having a good time. Uh, she is incarcerated for banging off the back of the head a cellist player, now a cello player. Now, why? You got to ask yourself, why would someone do that? Why would why would she do it? Right? What? Would you do it? Ask yourself. Would ask yourself the question. If you were in New York City, would you ever, ever, ever have the urge to walk up to a cello player and bang him off the back of the head with a fucking water bottle? I don't think so. I, I don't I, I, I don't think there's anybody that would, would 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 do that unless you're mentally ill or you you see this this guy as taking from you, right? The Asian guy. He's taking away your 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 rights and your privileges, right? He's 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 privileged, right? So uh, luckily, New York is uh, holding her. It's like ten thousand dollar bail on her, but uh, just a follow up story. No charges of racial uh, uh, attack. Um, nothing like that. Nothing even mentioned that this was a racially motivated attack. Now, need need I say that if the cello player were black? And uh, the, the attacker was, say, white or, or fucking Arab, then it would be an attack. Or, or if he was a Jew. Could you imagine if the cello player was a Jew? <laughs> oh, my God. The outrage. Oh, my God. That's because, because the attacker is black, we have to, uh, we have to bow a knee and, 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 and forgive because of the thousands of years of slavery and, and, and oppression to the black people. And that's what we're, we're expected to do. And uh, that's called white privilege, by the way. That's what you're, you're privileged to, have, to be able to do that. Yeah. I apologize uh, in, the, in the chat. I see the, I see the Buffy. I, I saw it happening earlier. And uh, I, I know it's fr freeze frame, but there's nothing you can do about it. Thank you. Fucking YouTube. Thank you, bots, uh, for censoring this uh, fine program. There is nothing whatsoever stuck on my end. It is entirely, entirely created on the other end of the uh, receiving. Uh, uh. So let's let's look at uh, on the on the technological end of the uh, uh, thing. Right? So I'll talk to myself, man, because I don't care. I don't care. I'll just. I'll have this. Uh, I like having the conversation with people in the chat. Um, that's our strength, and uh, YouTube wants to take that away. Shame, shameful, shameful censorship. Uh, sense of this uh, latest polls in the primary uh, general election. Uh, it does look like uh, it, 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 the, the polls don't really make sense because Trump is winning. Uh, Trump versus Biden. Trump is winning in all or most of the swing states, the states that are in question. And um, but in the general election, how on fucking earth is Reuters putting Trump, putting Biden ahead of Trump by four? Uh, so there's something wrong there. Florida, Trump thir by 13. Um, uh, North Carolina, Trump by two. Uh, Trump by three in North Carolina, Minnesota, Biden by two. OK, uh, I'll give you that. Uh, Minnesota. Come on, Minnesota. Get with it. What do you get your head out of your ass? <laughs> in Minnesota, they're still, they're still voting for Klobuchar. Uh, that's for Senate. Um, morning consultant has Trump by one in a general. Uh, so what else? And and before before recently, it looks like uh, this is odd too. I I, I don't see this at all. Um, Pennsylvania, Trump versus Biden. Biden by ten in the in the great state of Pennsylvania. Um, and then when you add in 
Trump versus Biden is uh, Biden by 10. Uh, Trump versus Biden versus Kennedy versus West versus Stein. Trump by two. Uh, Biden by two. So it looks like the um, the the extras, the extras in the race, Kennedy, West and Stein are, in fact, pulling away from Biden. And that's a good thing. Right? That's a good. That's what usually happens. So there is an election coming up. And uh, how is Joe Biden uh, going to get some get some money? How is he going to get fans? Uh, there you go. Biden hosts big tech Mongols, Clintons. De Niro at state dinner for a Japanese prime minister who compares country relationship to Star Trek, Star Trek. All right. So look, who, look who was there. So Biden is uh, 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 meeting the prime minister of, of Tokyo. But look who's at the event. Look, look, look at the uh, if you think that the path of totality isn't real. Look at what the humans look like. Look at look at who's at the White House. There's Jeff Bezos, who. I don't know. He looks like a pansy. He looks like a, like like uh, like Fred Astaire or something, right? And his 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 voluptuously curvy, uh, uh, fucking weird looking wife, right? Uh, his weird looking fiance, Lauren Sanchez. And what do you know? The Clintons show up. The fucking Clintons are there, right? Here's here's the Clintons. Hold your breath for this one, man. You got to deal with this shit. This is fucking horrible. Ugh. Ugh. In the path of totality. Hey, Bill, did you, uh, how'd, how'd you enjoy the eclipse, man? Were you in the path of totality? Of course Bill Clinton was in the path of totality because he's a rich guy. And he gets 25 phone calls in the morning. Hey, Bill, you want to get on the plane and, and come to the path of totality? Of course he was there. And he gets to leave Hillary uh, behind for a while. But who else was at the party? Look at the look at the list. De Niro, the Clintons, Robert De Niro, uh, Jamie Dimon from Morgan from J.P. Morgan, uh, Janet Yellen was there, former Secretary of State, Treasury Secretary. No, she is the sitting um, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. Of course, she's there because she works for Biden. Right? Biden, eighty-one years old. Uh, people are saying that Biden looked uh, dazed and confused. Here's De Niro with his with his uh, his new his new squeeze, Tiffany Chen. But uh, what, there's something wrong with their faces here. What's wrong with this face? That's not a normal face. Right? There's something wrong with Sanchez's face. Right? I don't know what it is, but she's she's very puffy in the wrong places. Um, here is uh, <laughs> Christina Yamaguchi. Now, you remember the figure skater, the Japanese slash American? She's, she's American Japanese, and there's Mama. Mama! All right. why, did they, why did they invite Chris, Christy Yamaguchi to the party? Because why? Because the prime minister is Japanese, right? Fucking jerk-offs, right? That's racist, man. Right? She got, she got invited because she's Japanese. Who else is there? Who else is there? Uh, Anthony Blinken, of course he's there. Very unglamorous. Look how unglamorous. He looks stressed. He's got stress on his face. That's what a stressed face, a guy who works, looks like. And look at, look at Jeff Bezos. Look how smooth and, and fucking textured his face is. Right? He doesn't have a, a fucking ounce of stress in his body. Right? Right? Jeff Bezos gets like 24-hour massages. Right? He's, he, he, everything is done for him. Look who else is there. Jer, uh, Jerome Powell, Federal Reserve Jerome Powell, was sitting at the table uh, with Biden as he was schmoozing the, the, um, the uh, Prime Minister of Japan. Who's this guy? Mm. Neil Blum. Uh, Neil Blum booksellers. There's a lot of rich people there. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper. Uh, this is the money, the money. Who's behind Trump? Who's behind Biden? Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that's Biden's daughter, a granddaughter. Uh, it, it doesn't necessarily mean because these people were at the table or at the event. It doesn't mean that uh, that they generally or necessarily support Joe Biden. Rich people are funny like that. You get invited to the White House, they're going to go. They're going to they're gonna show up. They're going to eat their fucking, 
you know, salmon and, and whatever and, and, and ribeye steak or whatever else they were serving up there, Japanese food. They probably got a fucking hibachi going, right? Anyway, but anyway, that's what we got. Uh, so, so that's who was. Um, that could be considered the the line of totality, right? This is what's happening in the world now that the eclipse has passed. This is what people look like. They're they're they they're coming out the other side as billionaires with no stress, or they're they're Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton. Suddenly, Bill and Hillary Clinton are acceptable people on Earth. Yeah when they weren't 25 minutes ago. And, uh, and why, is, why is Robert De Niro, the actor, great actor, and, and the great actor in some of my favorite movies, and, you know, including fucking uh, Goodfellas, uh, why is he there? Why did he get invited? Why, didn't, why, didn't it, why aren't there any poor people there? They only invite the rich people. So uh, the path of totalitary, to, uh, totality, uh, let's watch. There was a flash. A flash. There you go. A meteorite. Boing, bang, boom. You saw the meteorite? Watch it again. Look into the screen and you'll see a meteorite. It looks like fireworks to me. See that little flash behind the tree? That's all we're looking at. Flash behind the tree. Bang, boom, ba, ba, boom. Uh, so there was a bit of a flash going on in New Jersey. And it looks like a lot of people uh, were aware of that uh, um, flash and got on the got on the internet and tried to confirm it that there was a flash in the sky right, after the eclipse or yesterday and uh, just looking for evidence that's all just we're sniffing we're sniffing here for evidence of uh, of uh, the, the the live the live show today is stuck you're you're watching the um, the, the recorded version of it uh, I was recording live until YouTube decided to uh, uh, crush the fucking stream YouTube is crushing the stream right. trying to scare everybody away right go away man this guy's bad he's talking about he's talking about medical misinformation for children right. no I'm trying to prevent it jerks jerkies I'm trying to prevent it I'm trying to prevent it so fireball lights up the sky uh, this is so some more evidence this is uh, William R. Hall from Syracuse uh, provided these uh, shots for us Thank you, William, in the chat. This is a, a, I don't know, fucking fraternity or sorority somewhere up there in Syracuse. It's not familiar to me, I don't, so it's probably a sorority. Uh, but uh, there's the eclipse. There it is, blacked out in Syracuse. Kids going wild. That's a partial eclipse, almost a full eclipse right there. But uh, there's the wildness on campus. Kids are laying down, calling God. Right? So there's shit happening, right? So this is a great video. Thank you, uh, Michael Ar- Archangel. Archangel. <laughs> uh, Michael, excuse me. Michael, uh, 100. Uh, thank you. Subscribe to his channel. Michael Archangel uh, put this out. Here we are at the Texas Eclipse Festival. Texas Eclipse Festival. And we got the, we got the eclipse happening in real time. All right. So we're we're trying to we're trying to find evidence of of uh, the path of totality having a uh, a damaging effect on people and or an enlightened effect. Uh, people are screaming, they're emotional. Yes, right. Listen, listen. Wow. How about that? So look at the humans down on planet Earth. They're going wild. They're wild. Oh, my God. There's a lot of calls to God while the eclipse is passing. A lot of God. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. It's funny. Shit and God are in the same sentence. Oh, my God. Shit. It's a good video. This is this is the event you missed. People sitting in the grass. They look like they're having a good time, right? The humans are coming together. Oh my god. My god. Oh my god. A religious moment, right? Watch. 
She had a religious moment by seeing the eclipse. God. It looks like the kids are confirming that God is real. That's God doing that. It's getting dark now. I'm back. I'm back. He's back. He's back. The Ring of Fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A burning ring of fire and a flame. Oh. This guy's singing Johnny Cash in the background. Uh, we're not going to listen to him. Uh -huh. They got everybody singing. That's good. Oh. Oh. Ah, see, religious. It's it's it, it's spiritual. This guy's like fucking bugging out, man. This guy's tripping. This guy's freaking, man. He's freaking out. <laughs> Awesome. See, it does have an effect on people. Look at this. So it's, it's real. This was me in my backyard. I was I was doing this too a little bit. So there it is, man. And now it's it's over. That was a great. This is a great video. You can see how how it, how it lights up. Everything got lighter. Uh, Allah, Allah, Jesus, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, uh, great, whoa, that chick is naked, she's got no pants on, she's got no clothes on, watch, watch, she's got no clothes on, she's fucking totally, totally, totally ripping naked, man, she took her shit off, uh, she's got her, her, her organ out, and these, these people can't wait to, to copulate, Men patting each other on the butt. Fantastic video. Thank you so much for this. I'm going to leave this guy a comment, man. I'm going to leave this guy a comment. How do you comment? Chat replay is disabled. Why is it disabled, man? I don't want to fucking comment. Great video. Great vid. Great video. Great video. Thank you. Uh, that was great video. Thank you very much for that. So, woke Democrats. I guess we get into the story now that has banned, that has, has caused the program to crash, uh, to stick. Right? Because we're talking about something very, very crashable. Right? So... So this is, a, this is a true story. Woke Dems have lied about transgender suicide, but there is hope. Hope. All right, so, so this is the story of, um, of a kid. His name is uh, Nex Benedict, right? And he committed suicide a day after allegedly being beaten up at school. Right? He killed himself. The kid killed himself. Non-binary teen, Nex Benedict. So this is Nex. Hello, Nex. Well, he's dead. She's dead. Whatever you are is dead. 16-year-old uh, kid, dead. Doesn't know what he is. Uh, he's dead, right, because he got beat up. He got beat up by girls in the locker room, right? Uh, and everybody jumped on the bandwagon to say he was allegedly beaten up at school, the tragedy was quickly hijacked as a textbook case of anti-LGBT bullying. The president, first lady, president and first lady weighed in with a heartbroken White House statement. Next, Benedict, a kid who just wanted to be accepted, should still be here with us. 
non-binary and transgender people are some of the bravest Americans I know, says Joe Biden. In memory of next, we must all recommit to our work to end discrimination and address the suicide crises impacting too many non-binary and transgender children. All right. I agree with all of that. I agree with all of that. What I agree with is, what I disagree with is, is you're, first of all, a kid doesn't know. Right? He's a kid. They're children. They don't fucking know what is happening in terms of their sexuality until they mature to a certain age. Now, if you disagree with that, then change the age of consent, of change the age of realization. Because if, look, if a child is cognitive enough to know that they're trapped in the wrong fucking body, right? wrong sex, right? I, I got a, a penis, but I, I, I ordered a vagina. That's what God ordered, you know, gave, ordered for me. And I, oh, what the fuck? Why do I have a penis? Right? If a child is having these types of delusions, it's probably something else, right? And look at the child's life, right? and you, you might find out something else about it uh, as to why they're having these feelings. And in this case, it looks like, it looks like it's true. He was, uh, Benedict suffered from bipolar disorder. This is all prior to him killing himself the day after he got his ass kicked. Bipolar, why are you in the girl's bathroom, first of all? That's, that's, that's probably why the girls beat him up. Because a boy dressed like a girl shows up in the girl's bathroom pretending to be a girl, and the girls lay into him, right? which, which they should do. <laughs> Benedict suffered from, suffered from bipolar disorder, depression, anxiety, self-harm, cutting, chronic tobacco abuse, and chronic marijuana abuse. Uh, so, so this fucked up claims that, uh, the kid claims he was raped by uh, his father from ages nine to 11. The father was thrown in jail. All right. Um, now the most comprehensive review of evidence for trans transitioning children, the landmark case, the landmark case review released in the UK Wednesday has found no good evidence for the intervention after all. So, so it, it's, uh, it is a staggering rebuck. This is good. It's a staggering rebuck to the medical malpractice industry that fed children sex hormones and surgically butchered them at the altar of gender ideology. Uh, the altar of gender ideology. That was the point I'm trying to make. Uh, that's all I'm trying to say is that uh, who's responsible for this medical misinformation that's being stuffed down children's throats? Well, it's twofold. It's the medical profession itself, the, the holiest of holy medical professions, and the, the, uh, the, the fucking crazy parents that push this, push their own agenda on the kids before the kid has a chance to get out of fucking high school. Uh, you're a little weird, Johnny. You must, you're, you're a girl. Uh, that's, what they, that's what they tell. Oh, oh Jane, you're, 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 why are you throwing the football and hanging out with the boys? You must be a boy. And they send them off to the fucking Mayo Clinic to get their tits chopped off and their penises uh, realigned. Uh, crazy. Uh, um... Yeah, kid had bipolar diagnosed. That's a medical the fucking tragedy right there. Uh, I got bipolar. Yeah, the whole fucking country. Everybody, anybody who eats a, an American diet has bipolar disorder and depression and anxiety. Anybody who lives in American culture, American society, to some degree has levels of anxiety. Now, are they harmful levels of anxiety? Uh, anxiety disorder. Where you can't you can't even get up, get get out of bed, can't walk, can't, uh, cutting, cutting. He's a cutter, and uh, chronic tobacco abuse. So the kid is chain smoking, fucking tobacco and weed, cutting himself, has is suffering from crazy anxiety, depression, and bipolar, right? And and then he shows up in school in the girls' locker room, and gets his ass kicked, right? Because he's dressed like a fag. 
free, you know, he's dressed like a woman. Right? And he's a dude. Right? Right? This is crazy, right? Where where is the medical profession? Where is the 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 field? This kid goes into the office, the psycholo- psychology office, the fucking you know, a school counselor and says, I don't know what I'm doing, man. I got a fucking marijuana problem. And, 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 and the, the counselor says, just be who you are, man. Be who you are, my brother, my sister, right? You're my little one. You're, you're, you're trapped inside the wrong body. You need hormone therapy and surgically fucking, you need surgery to, to change yourself into something that's more acceptable. This is child abuse. This is this is medical misinformation. This is child abuse when you do this to kids. There's no other rationale for it. A child is unable, unable to understand deep, deep levels of sexuality at that age. You are fucking with their mind forever and their body, too. So. So, uh, so that's, that's who's doing the medical misinformation. Uh, let's look at the markets, and then I'll, I'll kill it right here. I know it's a short stream because I'll, I'll keep it a short stream so, that, so I can upload this uh, back to YouTube. And uh, we'll see if they take it away. We'll see, see if they chop it down again. Um, no, NASDAQ came back. The futures were down. NASDAQ is now up 56 Dow down 29, S&P 500 flat at 300, uh, at the, uh, up three. That was a big change. Reddit coming back strong, up 85 cents today. Trump's stock getting crushed down down to $34 a share. Uh, let it come down. Let it go down to 15, 10. And you buy yourself some, and that shit will go back up again someday. But let it come down. Rivion getting, getting smacked, uh, down 10 cents. Tesla up 20 cents. And uh, on the big board, NVIDIA up eight, Google up a dollar, Apple up 67 cents, <clears throat> Amazon down 40, Meta, formerly Facebook up 81 cents, Microsoft up two, uh, uh, Bitcoin, <laughs> Bitcoin's going to get you dizzy. Look at this. It's up $2,600 today, back up to $70,000 per share. Fucking what a what a run. What a run for Bitcoin. Um, the um, the holy vaccine stocks, the stocks that give you the uh, eclipse vaccine that they're coming up with. They, they're going to come out with that, by the way. Um, uh, Moderna, Johnson and Johnson and Pfizer. Uh, all they're kind of mixed today. I would I would say that they're actually down Moderna down. Uh, but they're already getting crushed after the the uh, mRNA vaccine that they came out with for the for the pandemic. Uh, <clears throat> Moderna once upon a time was four hundred and something dollars a share. Now it's a hundred. Uh, it's one quarter of what it was because of the vaccine. But they're working on the eclipse vaccine uh, because of the, um, the if you were in the path of totality, the path of totality, you might need a, a shot. To bring you back to, uh, to, to to space, right? Uh, so anyway, that's my uh, my my um, uh, uh, video for today. Everything is fucked up. Uh, if you're watching live, I apologize. Um, I hope you're watching the rerun because it was uh, it's a good subject and uh, and it's just you you could see the evidence that uh, people do not want to see. They don't want to talk about this type of medical misinformation directed at children. Uh, uh, chopping off breasts, chopping off penises, uh, uh, convincing kids that they're not who they who they think they are, who, who they, they uh, convincing kids that how they feel is 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 somehow an indication of who they are at that moment. Uh, let me interpret your thinking for you. You're you're thinking about pink dresses, Johnny, because you're a girl, motherfucker. And and, and by the way, turn around. Because daddy needs some help. It's fucking. We live in a sick society, right? A sick society, and I, I would like to see um, uh, kids, uh, uh, at least to some degree, uh, and not not victims uh, of that. So, uh, so uh, thank you all for, uh, for for watching. My name is Marcus Conti. 
Marcus Conte reporting.